Hello and welcome to another episode of the Able Life Quick Tips. Today I've got a little mixing tip for you that I've seen not that many people use. And uh, this is to use the utility effect that you have in life to actually automate the volume or the panning as well. So um, generally if you want to automate the volume then you'd automate the track volume itself. But the thing is, if we actually realize later on in the mix that this track needs to be louder in general or more quiet, then you know we'd have to do this. But that doesn't work too well and can be quite tedious, especially if you've automated lots of the tracks. So let's undo this again and try the utility effect instead. So just drop that on here. So now instead we can just use the gain of the utility to automate. And we can easily adjust the volume with no trouble. But one thing you have to keep in mind that all the parameters work only relative to the track volume, which means that, for example, since it's only going down to minus 35 dB, it might not be completely faded out. Now that depends on how loud the track is in the mix. Here, for example, you can still hear it a bit. So you have to keep that in mind. But for example, if it's a track that is not as loud in the mix as here, for example, at 0 dB, but if it was down at, say, something like this, or a bit more quiet, then it could work. Um, but in general, if you just want to make smaller changes to the volume of a track, then this is really, really great. And if you have Max for Life as well, then uh, there's actually an option that's called the D-Mixer. Let me quickly show you that. So here we've got the D-Mixer, and um, this one actually goes down to minus 70 dB. So that's actually a lot more helpful. And you can also automate the panning on here and the mute. The, the link for the D-Mixer, if you're interested, is included in the description. And um, I hope you found the tutorial helpful. And I'll see you next time. Bye.